Greetings and salutations. My name is Michael Schwann. I'm the nerd in a snapback, and today we are taking a look at Wild Hearts. I have been kind of avoiding this one because it's still not out until February, but we did check out everything at the Game Awards that happened just, you know, a week ago, and I did get a couple of small little glimpses at Wild Hearts. I was like, you know, we should go and take a look at it. Wild Hearts is one of the, the rare occasions where somebody tries to make Monster Hunter without just being Capcom. We had, I think the only other one of these that I can think of is, what is it called? Not God's Trigger, but God's Fury, something like that. There's like three of them. And those are slightly different, but they're the closest thing that we have to a Monster Hunter competitor. And even then it's not really a genuine competitor. And so we have now Wild Hearts coming from Koei Tecmo and Electronic Arts, which is, an interesting combination because of what else Koei Tukmo's involved with, but who knows, you know, maybe it'll fit God Eater. Thank you, Eve. So, you know, who knows, maybe it'll, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. I don't know. We'll find out. I did have a couple of squinty questions when I, with what little I did see at the Game Awards. We have the Game Awards trailer here, so we'll be watching that in, in a more proper, earnest fashion at this time. So we have four trailers to check out for this. Let's get started. So, visitors to the land of the East. do realize Ozma is fraught with danger I realize it's a mythical being but that pig straight up looks like the pig from Spirited Away They battle for territory They clash that in so doing the seed will soon grow you will become a force of nature Huh. A world gone wild. There's a biggie. Interesting. Spirited away or Mononoke? Thank you, Francie. Mononoke. Yeah. I feel like I recognize his voice from a movie. Maybe. Okay. So, you know, there was a lot of, like, there was a lot of things that looked all right. And then there was a lot of things that kind of raised some questions as well. It looked better than what I saw at the Game Awards, but I still had some concerns. There's quite a few unique elements there, but I'm kind of torn. Yeah, it's like, it's one of those things that is like, this could be really good. Maybe. So this is a an extended gameplay trailer. I'm assuming it's just a hunt is what we're going to look at. Now, I realize that we're watching this through YouTube, right? 
We're watching this through YouTube. You have YouTube compression and all that stuff. But there's just something that feels weird about the graphics in this game. It feels like something isn't being processed correctly. Like, there's a lot of aliasing and some weird stuff going on with the shadows and almost like a dithering effect on parts of the world. I mean, this is still part of one of the first, like, looks at the game, because I believe that the trailer we just watched and this one came out at basically the same time. So it could be that it's just an earlier build that doesn't run very well. I realized they wanted to make something that made them unique compared to, oh, you lost, compared to Monster Hunter, but the building also seems interesting because you're not necessarily building the way that like Eve was making a joke about Fortnite, but it feels, I don't know, almost gimmicky. Bladed parasol fighter, that's sick. Wait, wait, if it was dead, why did, why did, we, why, why when you harvested from it was like, oh, if you already killed it, was it playing dead and you're just like, I'm harvesting your shit anyway, like, They got like the little wind things to simulate the, the, I can't remember what the, the spirit bug things are from Monster Hunter. Did I, was that screen tearing? I'm really sad we don't see any UI here. We do have a couple more trailers after this one that we can watch, so maybe we'll get to see some UI in some of the other trailers. Well, that sucked. weird like putting two walls next to each other built a bigger wall gotta have some different weapon types so we have a parasol user and an odachi currently and then we saw something along the lines of like a sword whip Beast is enraged. We got Tonfas. All right. It's going to be weird, but I wonder how the multiplayer in this is. Well, I think one of the reasons, Eve, that you might be in, like, you say that's weird coming from you, but it's co-op multiplayer. And co-op multiplayer is, is very, very different from something that has PvP in it. Because I know that you're normally super against PvP, but co-op's... As, lo as long as co-op doesn't feel like a requirement, there's a lot of, like, benefits that you can get from it. Okay. That had already counted down. Oh, you hit it.
Man, looking at this beast, I don't feel like this is something that reasonably three people would be able to take down. I can see you not needing help in this, but it sure does make battles faster. Uh, it depends on how they structure it, because in Monster Hunter World, sometimes adding more people made the battle significantly longer because it would overbloat the monster's HP. Don't go in there. Okay. I thought he was about to jump in that thing's fucking mouth. Like, there were certain battles that were better to do solo because it just... Even adding one person would change the HP of the monster so much that it made it... A, a, it didn't necessarily make it harder, but it gave you more chances for failure. Monster Rise did the same thing. It scaled by memories. Rise, I, uh, my understanding, I've not played a whole lot of it, but I know that it... I've seen people say that they did it a lot better in Rise and that it doesn't start to feel unfair based on the number of people you have. Okay, so while this was a gameplay trailer that was from two months ago in October, this is an official gameplay trailer from, that's on IGN from November. Not even needing help, but the, the ability to make it more fun by having a variety of combos and weapons. Or just something to do with friends. Over ancient ancestors' extraordinary technology, the Karakuri can be found across this land. Though they still worked when I was a child, it has been a long time since anyone could figure them out. Until now, because we're special. And that is, until you. Okay, sure. I was close. Nature's energy, wield this ancient tech, unleash the power of the Karakuri, and shape them into new forms. I imagine in time how you use these Karakuri will change the very way you think about the hunt. Like the Karakuri itself, you must be adaptable. And like the kimono, you must be ferocious. Plan your hunt. Set your trap. And bring down these giant beasts. Okay, you know, that was cool. That was cool. But I want to know just how possible that actually is in non-scripted gameplay scenarios. Because we've seen things like that in games, and the game never actually, because of the way the AI works, the enemy goes off in a random direction, or something doesn't proc or whatever, right? And obviously, you know, a plan never survives contact with the enemy, or whatever that actual, you know, phrase is. But whenever you show something like that, of these, like, pre- established actions where you set up these traps and you get it all planned out and it's going to come over and it trips this and then it gets caught up in these and then a bomb pops up and and it, it, it's like the perfect heist type stuff right very rarely does stuff like this actually work in games it'd be cool if it did the karakuri can be used for more than battle your tools to travel with great speed. Gather resources. Build your skills. Oh, it's a training they bear. Okay. Guide you as they once guided our ancestors. It's a porcupine with with crystal spikes. I love him. Alone may not be enough down every beast seek allies and together tame a world gone wild okay we got a cannon
new trailer December 8th. Yeah, we, we have that one. It is going to be up next. All right, so this is the gameplay trailer from the Game Awards. This was the first glimpse that I had gotten at the game. Oh, there's a really big sword that person had. You know, here's the thing is it doesn't look bad in like a general game sense, but there's still something that feels weird about it. Like, I don't understand what it is. Like, it looks like it could be a lot of fun, but it also feels like there's just something off. Like... Like, like it's a freaking skinwalker of a game or something like that. And maybe it's because it's a little too adjacent to Monster Hunter. I don't know. It just looks like, 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 like it's hiding something. Like there's something that we don't know. <laughs> maybe it's that it's bad. So this release is on February 16th and 17th-ish, depending on where you're located in the world. It is a full price game. It's well, it's it's a premium price game is how I feel we should phrase it now and that it is $70. So, we'll see how that goes in terms of the game's reception because I feel like it's getting harder and harder to justify that cost when it comes to these premiumly priced games. Especially when you have some games that are like $50 that are just absolute quality as well in a different way. So, yeah, you know, I definitely still need to see more because it def it feels like there's just something about the gameplay or the visuals or both that is just off. May can we get a demo? A demo would probably be a really cool idea. Might not be good for sales, but it might be able to either confirm or put aside some suspicions that definitely feels like we have so that's wild hearts let me know what your thoughts are on it if this is your first time seeing it how do you feel are you a monster hunter fan are you new to the monster hunting style i don't know what to call these games like really because of this monster hunter style games is the closest that it gets because for the longest time outside of some very limited exceptions such as dauntless and god eater there's just not really anyone else is trying to do the monster hunter formula so let me know what your thoughts are whether you're a fan or not down in the comments below if you want to keep up the conversation elsewhere two great places to do so are discord and twitter speaking of discord we have a channel dedicated to these reactions where you can place links of your own that we can check out together live on stream because we do stream on twitch and i would love to see you there if you enjoyed this video please leave it a like if you want to catch future videos please subscribe to the channel and if you do watch one of the other videos on the channel or if i see you in the live stream thank you and enjoy